Okay, as far as important figures in your book go, figure 21-11, I would put up there uh, towards the top. We've said that the main function of the cardiovascular system is to maintain the composition of the interstitial fluid, or together with other physiologic systems to help maintain that composition. Exchange between the interstitial fluid and the vessels occurs in capillaries. So we need to understand how fluid is exchanged between the capillaries. This particular figure is from openstacks.org, so it's an uh, open source version of the figure in our book. And what we need to know is that there are two forces moving fluid or water uh, out of the vessel and back in. The first force is hydrostatic pressure that acts on all molecules in the plasma. And that hydrostatic pressure at the arterial end of a capillary is greater than the osmotic pressure pulling fluid back in. So fluid is pushed out of the vessel. And at the venous end of the capillary, the osmotic pressure within the blood is greater than the surrounding interstitial fluid, so water would move back in. Where does, the, where does the osmotic pressure come from? It comes from protein concentration. So small molecules can be filtered through the capillary walls. These are things like sodium, glucose, other ions, amino acids. But the larger proteins in the plasma remain in the blood. So those proteins create osmotic pressure to draw water back in. Now, small molecules that diffuse freely across the plasma membrane are going to have equal concentration within the interstitial fluid and plasma, so exchange is free at that place. Thus, there's flow out of the, uh, from the plasma into the interstitial space on the arterial end of the capillary and there is um, net movement of fluid into the vessel on the venous end of the capillary and that's how the exchange happens. It turns out that more fluid is filtered from the vessel than is drawn back in and this means there's an excess that would accumulate in the interstitial fluid if it weren't drained through the lymphatics. When we talk about edema or accumulation of fluid in the interstitial fluid, it would be due to a disruption in the flow from the capillaries to the interstitial space. That might be if there were uh, too low a concentration of proteins, which would happen in liver failure. Remember, livers synthesize most of the plasma proteins. It could also happen in hypertension if hydrostatic pressure were consistently too great uh, within the vessel, it would continue to push too much fluid out. So have a look at this figure, go through the components of the figure, and uh, make sure we understand how fluid flows from the plasma into the interstitial space and why it would be drawn back into the vessel as we get towards the venous end of the capillary.